Fire department's trying to get ahead of all this by asking residents not to burn because of that high wildfire risk. KLTV 7's Shakina Davis has more on what you can do. This last weekend, um, there was, this last weekend in our county alone, we had six structure fires, at least six structure fires, and probably eight or more brush fires. Lufkin's assistant fire chief Ryan Watson says strong winds can push fires in certain directions, causing a major fire risk. The fire just moves a lot quicker and it can get a lot larger and hotter. Watson says the fires in the area spread mainly by high winds and grass, but also in the brush areas. Your yard, like anywhere else, can be at risk of fire outbreaks during windy conditions. Once your yard dries out, it can become a problem and you know most yards are adjacent to other yards and, and they just burn through. Watson advises people to use caution at all times and have enough water to put out any fires. So if it does start to get out of control, you can put out the fire yourself quicker. Uh, absolutely, if you call us, call us and uh, we'll come out. Currently, the Lufkin Fire Department has not received any reported wind-related fires. Fuller Springs Volunteer Fire Department Chief Bobby Cranford says their department has. Over the weekend, we had almost every department in the county was on fires all at once. Uh, we were actually had a lot of our crews down in Zavala helping them when we got a fire of our own. Shekina Davis, KLTV 7 News. Now, there aren't any burn bin bans happening right now here in East Texas. Again, fire departments there asking East Texans to be careful in the meantime.